Okay, uh, hello, this is Rani Ahmed with you, and uh, we're going to unbox uh, uh, the flip switch uh, mirror. That it's an accessory that's used on a uh, telescope. Okay, now uh, this is my telescope, so we can uh, understand uh, how to use the flip switch. And it's a Celsius Astro Master 130Q telescope. Uh, it's a modified one. I'm uh, I added too many accessories on it. And the flip switch mirror is right here in this box by a white box. Now, uh, the purpose of this uh, flip switch mirror, okay, as you can see, is uh, to help you put on the telescope an eyepiece and uh, DSLR camera at the same time, okay. So this is it. So I put my eyepiece over here. See, we have a mirror inside here. This is the switch. Okay. So it switches between the uh, the light for the, like it makes the light uh, be switched. Okay, and uh, routed. Uh, like this is the side where I put my uh, I put the fl uh, put, this is the side where I put the uh, flip switch on the uh, telescope. This is the side where you put the, your eyepiece. So this way you can view uh, and know what the telescope is uh, seeing, okay? Okay, now as you see now, the, the path here is, is completely open to the end. I can remove this, okay, also. Now, uh, so as you see, the, the path is completely open, okay, over here. So when I uh, put this uh, this uh, side on the telescope, okay, of course, you and you flip this switch like this, and now you can see the mirror. You can see it yourself, I think. Okay, so let's see. Uh, whatever the uh, uh, the eyepiece is seeing now, because the light will be reflected on this mirror to the eyepiece, which is coming from the telescope okay, on this side. Now, if I uh, look now here, it's blocked for uh, because this is this is the side where the uh, camera should ins should be installed. So I install the camera using the steering. Okay, and I just screw it, and of course, on this side, from the top side of the ring, the camera will stand uh, on a Tynacon camera or a, a Canon camera. Okay, and I just screw it. I don't have a DSLR camera anyway. It's uh, just a matter of inserting the, the, the camera. It's a bulky, big one like this, and you install it. Now, uh, of course, like I told you, I go here. And this way, and like this, okay. And we see now from that side. So this is the side from the camera side, okay. This is from the switch side, of course. And this is how it's installed, okay. And and you get it like this, and you screw the, those screws, okay. The screws that are okay, from. The, those screws, okay. Let me go to the other side, of course, because this is the, sh uh, uh, the shaft uh, of the focuser, must hold the eyepieces and the uh, and any other accessory that you want to hold, okay. Now, uh, now I have still one problem, okay. Uh, on a Newtonian telescope, only on Newtonian, on Newtonian telescopes, uh, they uh, uh, they will sh be short in their service, okay? So to get them better and get them uh, work with the uh, eyepieces over here, because let me tell you, uh, you will need, of course, uh, just to get them working, you will need a barlow. Now the eyepiece should be like this, and this, like, see this displacement that happened over here? So you made this displacement. So now the, from here like this, 
Okay, so this means that the eyepiece is now far from the focus. Okay, even if you try to focus it like this, okay, and go and go and go and go further, trying trying to get the, get the, to focus, it won't because because of this much of displacement that happened. Okay, so now the eyepiece is far. So to what you will need to do is put the bar like I said, and uh, to uh, the bar will act will act like a pump. Okay, it put it will pull out the image. Okay, and make the uh, focal length of the telescope uh, virtually look longer. This means the telescope will be stronger. Okay, but what we need is a longer focal length so uh, that the uh, eyepiece uh, uh, now because it it cannot now in a, sitting in a position that it itself cannot reach the focal length. The focal length will be extended using a barrel lens, so the barrel lens will um, make it longer and be seen like this. And with the uh, with the mirror, with the help of the mirror, so the light will uh, reach uh, the uh, eyepiece, and therefore the image now is near the eyepiece, and then you can focus. Cool. And then, because of that, as we said, we need the barlow. So my recommendation is that if you can still find it, because I don't think it is not found yet, uh, it's not uh, sold yet anymore in the market, a 1.5 uh, barlow. Now they are selling at least uh, the, two, uh, the twice, two times. Okay, One, uh, the half times, the additional half times is more than enough because this is uh, like uh, you don't want to make your telescope. Uh, shift too much from its original uh, setting uh, from its original uh, focal length okay so so what I'm gonna do is just bed like this of course now it's closed I have to remove the, the lid over here and just put it like this. And then I can just install it. Okay. Now uh, I'm not gonna prove to you why the barlow is important here. You just you can just simply test it, or you can borrow any borrow any barrel lens from your friends. Okay. Uh, uh, just for you to understand. Anytime you feel that uh, anytime that happens, I mean that the uh, eyepiece is too far from the uh, from the. Uh, uh, like from the shaft, like uh, it's uh, ha it had a very big displacement. Okay, you will need a barlow. This is a like a rule with uh, uh, with the Newtonians. Okay, and it, it maybe maybe on the uh, refractor telescopes. Okay, uh, you might need a barlow. You might, but with the Newtonian, it's uh, it's uh, like uh, it's a sacred rule. You must put. <laughs> Put a bar barlow anyway, okay, to get it running. Okay, it's just you can in a way just you can uh, just to be able to see what's on the uh, uh, eyepiece and at the same time what's on the uh, the SLR camera side. So this is the DSLR camera side and this is the eyepiece side. Okay, and yeah, that's it. So now we see later. And I flip the switch. Okay. Now I this side uh, this way it's uh, allowing me to see only from the uh, eyepiece. Now if I open it this way, okay, this means that I close the eyepiece. I am allowing the camera to read the telescope. Okay, the image of the telescope. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share and subscribe. Bye.